Hey, Psych2Goers. What's your favorite scent? Did you know, according to research, it can actually reveal quite a bit about you? Founder of the Smell and Taste Treatment and Research Foundation, Alan R. Hirsch, MD, has had a few participants take personality tests, 18,631 participants to be specific. And then he compared their personality to their favorite aromas and flavors. In an article from Reader's Digest, Dr. Hirsch explained that basically, it can be quite helpful on a first date to know what someone's favorite scent says about them. He stated, often on a first date, people put up a false front, acting their best and not wanting to show their weaknesses. But this way, you can get an instantly better understanding of who they truly are. It certainly may help, but while someone's favorite scent could potentially reveal quite a bit about them, it won't reveal everything about them. According to Dr. Hirsch's results, this is most likely what your favorite scent can reveal about you. Number one, you love the smell of roses. Do you love the smell of roses? According to Dr. Hirsch, these people are introspective and sensitive to the needs of others. They tend to weigh all options before making a choice. So what else does it reveal about you? Well, you likely don't have many regrets in your life because of this, and you're not quick to simply react. You reflect and think before you speak. If you wear fragrance that has a rosy scent, it also reveals that you're often a considerate person as well as someone who is careful. Number two, you love the smell of vanilla. Do you love the smell of good old classic vanilla ice cream? Is it your all time favorite scent? Well, it looks like you are an extrovert at heart. You love to go to parties and meet new and exciting people. When people meet you, they notice how fun and full of energy you are. You light up a room by being the one who makes the party a party. Number three, you love the smell of lavender. Do you constantly spray your room with a lavender scented mist? Or maybe you have an exquisite collection of lavender scented candles, all cozied up in a cupboard somewhere, waiting their turn to be lit. Well, it looks like you are a really good friend. You're an extremely thoughtful and kind person who cares about their closest relationships. You love cheering your friends up and are pretty close with them as well. You love forming connections with others and people love forming connections with you because of how easy and enjoyable it is to be around you. Number four, you love the smell of citrus. Do you love the smell of lemons, oranges, grapefruit? If you love citrus scents, then you're a determined and ambitious person. You love to lead a group, so you're likely chosen as the head of the group project with your classmates. That is, if you didn't already volunteer to take the spot. Number five, you love fruity scents. Are you a strawberry scented chapstick kind of person? Well, if you love to take a big whiff of your berry smoothie before taking that first sip, or you use a bit more shampoo than needed just so that your hair smells like a tropical fruit, then you're likely a bit sarcastic and also cynical at times. Dr. Hirsch explains that those who love fruity scents tend to be more irritable, cranky, and pessimistic. You can often isolate yourself because you can often find others' behavior a bit annoying and you're likely a bit temperamental at times. When this happens, look to what makes you happy and what brightens your spirits, like those fruity scented things. Don't take your annoyance out on others, but also try not to simply isolate. And number six, you love the smell of honeysuckle. Is your favorite scent honeysuckle? Then you're likely a happy, bright soul who lights up a room by simply smiling this doesn't mean you have to be an extrovert like our vanilla ice cream lovers. You're just often positive and lighthearted, so others gravitate towards you and feel better because of your attitude and joy. Those who love the sweet scent of honeysuckle are empathetic, easygoing, and well-adjusted, explains Dr. Hirsch. Does that sound like you? Who doesn't love a kind-hearted and blissful friend such as yourself? And you smell like honeysuckle, bonus. Sounds pretty sweet to me. So what's your favorite scent? And what does it say about you? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.